how has Sturdy been preparing for COVID-19 here in, in the Attleboro area? So our primary focus for Sturdy is to both keep our patients protected as much as possible and with as many resources as necessary to care for them, but also protect our healthcare employees as much as possible. And in that vein, we have restricted visitors completely from coming to the hospital. The only scenarios in which visitors are permitted at this time is to have a laboring partner or a screened doula for mothers who are in labor, uh, or for people who, patients who are at the end of their life or critically ill, we are making case-by-case -case exceptions to allow a restricted number of visitors who have been screened for any symptoms from entering the hospital. We're trying to prevent illness from coming into the hospital except through the patients and of course taking as many precautions as we can to separate and uh, use the appropriate personal protective equipment for our healthcare workers when they are evaluating patients with suspected COVID-19. In that vein, we're also having a lot of difficulty with personal protective equipment supply. This is because a lot of the world is depending on this uh, supply at the same time and much of it happened to have been made in China where a lot of factories were closed down because of COVID-19, which has been around since the end of December. So what we are trying to do at Sturdy is to make sure that we are using masks appropriately and that we are reusing them safely so that healthcare workers don't contaminate or infect themselves when either donning, putting on or doffing, taking off masks. And we are also using gowns and gloves to protect their hands and their skin, their clothing from getting respiratory droplets on them and shields to prevent respiratory droplets from getting into their eyes. We are doing uh, whatever we can with the personal protective equipment supplies that we have. We're hopeful that with this declaration of the state of emergency for the Massachusetts that we will have access to um, state stockpiles of emergency PPE and that we may have a little bit of repletion of our supplies, but in the time being, we're being very careful about using them and safely reusing them. Okay. Is there a task force from all of the key departments in the hospital? And we meet regularly, oftentimes daily, to discuss what we are doing in preparation for and in response to COVID-19. But as we are all learning, this is a situation that's evolving constantly. So there may be recommendations or guidelines that change on a daily basis. So we're all trying to um, communicate electronically, communicate by phone, do as much as we can remotely because we're also trying to limit our face-to-face -face contact and having too many people in one room at one time. Um, so congregates uh, settings, we're not having any meetings of people more than 25 at a time. Um, and we're doing as much as I said as possible remotely, but we are addressing uh, how these guidelines are changing really frequently and uh, making sure that as new issues and thoughts come up related to this, whether it's in patients with chronic kidney disease who need dialysis and have to go to dialysis centers or women who are pregnant and need prenatal care um, or employees that might be at risk or have been either um, exposed to a potential patient or are becoming ill themselves, that we work through occupational health and we all are addressing these issues and making plans and uh, putting policies into place as soon as they come up.